differences and uniting in our strength to live in a world where we respect that diversity and in unity can begin to improve things. So, the pledge cards that we're sending out, the campaigns we're mounting all this summer are about defending our NHS and extending our NHS and confronting and dealing with the mental health crisis we face also. They're also about wage levels in Britain, frozen since the uh, coalition government came in. And don't forget, the Liberal Democrats supported the coalition government. The Liberal Democrats voted for that budget. The Liberal Democrats voted for the freeze on benefits. The Liberal Democrats voted to treble tuition fees. So, we will raise the minimum wage for all workers, including young workers, to at least £10 an hour by 2020. And at the same time, repeal the Trade Union Act and give workers the right to organise at work in order to improve their standards and living conditions. And we will have that green industrial revolution. So parts of the country that have seen no investment since the end of the miners' strike will get the investment necessary through our National Investment Bank and our regional funds. They will get what is needed. That is investment for the future and hope for young people. But in saying hope for young people, I say this. We live in a society that's so divided. A baby born today, you can almost predict which college they're going to get to, which university they might get to, where they might end up working. I'm fed up with the inequalities and injustice and the way in which the system operates in this country. So we will make sure all small children get 30 hours a week free in a nursery together. We will fund primary schools properly so head teachers don't have to go on fundraising courses in order to be a head teacher. And we will make sure that every child in every primary school gets a free school meal yes, eaten yes, together. Yes. So they grow up together being properly fed. For all the people this government has been particularly vile, particularly vicious. There's more than a million waiting for social care. There's those that are worried about the future of their transport. There are those that are now being told over 75 they're going to lose their free TV licence. Sorry, Prime Minister, this one, last one, any other. It's the responsibility of government to provide it. Don't pass it on to the BBC. Make the decision yourself and say there will be free TV licences for all over 75. And keep the winter fuel allowance. Yes. And we will do everything to stop a no-deal Brexit. We'll do everything to stop the type of Tory deal that may be in Boris Johnson's mind at the present time. But we also believe that at the end of that process, any deal that, we'll find it, that we find unacceptable, we think should go to a public vote to decide on the future relationship with this country and Europe in the future. The principle being of protecting jobs, protecting living standards and ensuring we are able to live in a world where we get on with our neighbours and don't rely on Donald Trump. And I'll finish with this point. Our world has many people that sadly are labelled as refugees, 65 million of them around the world. And there are wars going on at the present time and many of those refugees themselves victims of other wars. I want to lead a Labour government where our principles are human rights, the rights of refugees, the rights of human beings, and treat people as human beings, not as something you can oppose and denigrate in the way in which many far-right politicians do. To achieve all these things, our party comes together, our party campaigns all this summer. I shall certainly be out on the railway lines all over the country getting that message out there. And I urge you to do the same. Because we don't need more blustering, no answers, flag waving and all that. And the impossibilism of tax giveaways to the rich while pretending you can fund something else when you've taken away the very basis 
on which you could invest for the future. Do you know what the better answer is? Have a general election, elect a new parliament, elect a Labour government, elect a Labour government to bring people in our country together, to tackle the inequalities, to conquer the injustices, but above all, to mobilise the strength and excitement, optimism and vitality of our people together. Together, there's nothing we can't achieve. Thank you very much.